Greetings from New Horton. Hear that breeze? That's the breath of our fine state, blowing through our national parks, our bustling cities, and the lungs of the mountain folk who have never traveled more than 20 miles from their place of birth. Breathe it in. Come on, let's ride the wind and see all that New Horton has to offer. Come try some dangerous outdoorsy activities for the first time here, where you're not entirely sure your health insurance is valid. So, what are you waiting for? Explore the hostile, ungodly environs of New Horton's expansive wilderness. These woods are pristine. Aside from the torrent of toxic sludge, the color of hot mustard that occasionally sweeps through, our founder, Rudiger Horton, fist fought Mother Nature herself to establish his homestead. And now she's come back to exact her revenge. Keep an eye out for the old lighthouse guiding you to your new home away from home. Don't go inside there though. Lots of lead and asbestos and a Soviet era nuclear reactor. You'll be dead in 24 hours. Step inside one of our world famous wharfside cafes. Mmm, try our signature sea scum soup, hastily slopped into a loaf of bread. It's warm, like the people here, and cheap, like the people here. We haven't raised the minimum wage in decades. One slurp, and you'll never leave. Like these fishermen, they're stuck in an eddy of socioeconomic turmoil that's made them wage slaves to the tourism industry. If you don't spend your money, they may have to turn to opioids as their only escape. All aboard! Our small towns used to be dotted with textile factories and positively infested with classic novelists. All that culture disappeared when our last coal mine caught fire. But we've repurposed our old steel mill into a casino and our haunted battlefield into an outdoor concert venue. So what are you waiting for? New Horton is the perfect vacation destination. And don't forget to spend a weekend in bustling New Horton City. We've revitalized the great American Main Street, which is now clogged by a glut of yuppies and second home owners who yearn for beer gardens and chain stores like the ones they left behind in the cities they're fleeing. Take the whole family back in time at Colonial Old Horton Village where actors refuse to break character or explain the genocide that decimated the native population in the area, even though every body of water, shopping center, and high school still bears their tribe's name. Or you could come along down here to... No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you don't want to go down there. That's the road to old trash town. Uh, it's a neighborhood so depleted and dilapidated. Uh, it's surprising they put a state capitol building down there. Stop rolling, stop it, stop. But here, have some stock footage of smiling families far more diverse than our overwhelmingly white population while I rattle off some emotionally charged, oddly nationalistic words. Heartland, FDR, corn. So. What are you waiting for? Are you still seriously waiting? What are you, too good for New Horton? Look, buddy, we need you or some big concert tour to come through here because our economy is in a shitter. What are you waiting for? I mean it. Give me three good reasons why you haven't booked your trip yet. It's starting to get cold out. And believe me, you and your feeble family won't last five seconds in a New Horton winter. No siree. You better get your ass over here. Feign interest in nature. Buy some chowda pronto. Spend that cash. We need your money, your dough, your money. Please. <laughs> there. I said please. So, what are you waiting for? Come to New Horton. I've been Roger.